Love him or hate him, folks, Lars Ulrich has some killer looking signature sticks. Now, back in my heavy metal days, A-Head were one of the coolest drumsticks around, but because of their headbanging price in my location, they were basically unattainable. But two weeks ago, I got a pair, so let's see what they're like. So I played these for a long weekend, three shows in total, and to be honest with you, that was enough for me. Not that they were bad in any way, but they were just different. See, they're made from a special nylon plastic that has a black finish with white tips. Both the taper and the tips can be changed out with replacement. Ahead says they last about six to ten times longer than the standard wood drumsticks, and I believe that. This is the damage after three shows. So six to ten times longer is actually quite good when you compare it to price. They're about three times more expensive than the standard drumstick. They come in just over about 30 bucks. I dig the signature look. It's got the company logo with Metallica and Lars's signature on it. The size is the equivalent to a 5B and the length is 16.25 inches. For me, the taper is too long and what I mean by that is the bit before the tip is far too small. Now the most important thing is the sound. This is subjective. What you think is good may not be what I think is good. But I found it very difficult to get different dynamics with these sticks. I felt the wood sticks gave me a lot more warmth and body, while well, these just made everything a lot brighter. Have a listen. Now the company says there's 5% more rebound on these kind of sticks. Now 5%, 2%, 10%, I'm not too sure. I can tell you what I did feel though. When I was playing on the toms and the cymbal, the rebound was insane. I was getting an awful lot of rebound back, more so than wood drumsticks. However, on the snare, it didn't come close to a wood drumstick and I don't know why that was. The balance in theory is very good. When I play on a pad here, I get the rebound straight back and it feels normal like a wood drumstick. However, when I'm playing on the drum set, what I find is that it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel great. It feels very bottom heavy and very top light. It's probably to do with the fact that there's metal down here and there's plastic up here. Worth a mention since we're talking about stats is that the company say that this is 50% less shock than an ordinary wood drumstick. Now, I didn't really think that was the case until I was playing and I dropped one of these. So I quickly went to pick up two wood drumsticks, five these, and I started playing and it was like holding, straight away, a, a power drill that was going off intermittently, on and off, and I couldn't believe it. So I definitely would say that there's an awful lot more shock absorption from these than your, your standard drumstick. If you like a really bright sounding drum kit, you do a lot of fast tom runs, you want that ear bleeding bell sound, and you don't require a lot of dynamics for your playing, well then these are the sticks for you. And more power to you, we need more drummers that have their own original sound and play with a bit more swagger. Guys, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick these up. Don't be afraid to hit the like or the dislike button, comment and let me know what you think, and subscribe for more. Take it easy, have a good one, bye bye. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.